Hey, what up, folks? This is GK. So, if you're wondering what are the day-to-day -day activities that a DevOps engineer would perform, or what do they do when they go to office, like what kind of work they do, or what kind of project they handle, so I'm going to give you the 10 activities at a very high level, and whatever they do in their day-to-day -day job will fall into one of these activities. So, the topmost and the most common activity that a DevOps engineer would perform is automating the deployment process or automating the CI process. So in this activity, most commonly what they do is they get a task to create a CI pipeline, like integrating the code with the Jenkins or GitHub Actions or GitLab CI, and then creating that CI process, which also has an automated test, and then creating a deployment process as part of the CI CD. So this is the most common task any DevOps engineer has to perform after they join a company. Second task a DevOps engineer would perform is maintaining the code and the version and versioning control or whatever you want to call it inside the Git repositories. Like for example, you as a DevOps engineer, you have to maintain your own code. For example, if you're writing a Terraform script or, or a CloudFormation script, or let's say a dev need a help on maintaining their branches or they would need your expertise on helping them to define the right branching strategy. So that's where they would come to you and ask you for maintaining the code or maintaining the branches. The third activity is collaboration with dev on the integration of code to production. So this is where you as a DevOps engineer have to work with the development team to understand how their code would traverse into the production environment or what are the necessary steps that you have to take from your end, whether it is a production uh, inside in cloud or the production environment is on on-premise, what automation you have to do from your end. So this is the most a common activity that uh, a DevOps engineer would do, like talking to the dev and QA and understanding the, the new release or how the code would go to production. Now the fourth is monitoring the performance of the systems and applications. This is another common task because when you are joining as a DevOps engineer, the expectation is that you will also do operations activities such as these to make sure that whatever microservices that you're deploying inside Kubernetes or inside any platform, you would have to uh, maintain or manage the performance of those applications like creating SLOs or SLIs or some of the SRE concepts. That's why, like I have mentioned in my previous video, that when you are writing a DevOps certification also, these are the questions that most commonly asked, uh, some of the operations related questions. Now the fifth activity is responding to system failures and troubleshooting, like creating the root cause analysis or if a service went down, how would you do post-mortem? This also falls into the SRE activities, but this is also what a DevOps engineer typically does these days. Even I had done some of these activities when I was a DevOps engineer in past. This is why knowing the system and having a very good experience on Linux and all the system level stuff would definitely help you as a DevOps engineer. Now the sixth is managing and scaling the cloud infrastructure. Like we have discussed many number of times before that as part of the DevOps engineer, you, you would also have to manage your cloud infrastructure, like writing the Terraform scripts or, you know, creating the infrastructure uh, like Kubernetes or EKS or GKE and giving the advice on how to scale the microservices, how to use the right values of scale in or scale out, you know, like drain, draining time out and all this stuff. So these are the common things that a DevOps engineer would do. And the seventh one is making sure that systems are also secure. Now you might say like these are some of the activities that a, a security engineer or a security person would do. But like I've said before, as a DevOps engineer, if you have to create a DevSecOps pipeline, you have to have understanding of some of the security tools and how they would integrate into the CI CD pipeline. So you as a DevOps engineer have to make sure that the security is also integrated as part of your CI CD pipeline. So before I go into the last three, if you are already working as a DevOps engineer, please let me know in the comment section if I have missed anything or if you would like to add anything to these activities that would help the community here. So with that, the eighth one is writing the ad hoc scripts or tasks that need automation. Like for example, you might have to write a Python script to do certain operations in cloud using Lambda functions or cloud functions or you might have to use the Terraform scripts or shell scripts to do certain activities inside your Linux environment or to manage the provisioning, or you have to write a Groovy script or GitHub actions. So these are the most common activities 
a DevOps engineer would perform. Now the ninth one might sound crazy for people who would like to come into DevOps from a dev background, but sometimes you have to provide support to the production environment. You would have to see your roles and responsibilities when you are going into this role or when you are taking up this DevOps role, because in this activity, sometimes you might have to get into the night shift whenever you are deploying something to the production, or if it has to be done during your India time night or US night time, uh, this activity has to be done by a DevOps engineer or working with the operations engineer closely. Now the 10th and most valuable thing a DevOps engineer have to do is keeping up with the industry trends and providing the technology guidance or the upgradation for the existing tools that are currently running in your environment. Like for example, you are using Ansible, you know, there is a new tool that came into the market or you would like to upgrade that tool and give suggestion to the client. So that's the most valuable stuff that any company would look uh, upon a DevOps engineer and DevOps engineer, like, you know, the tools are changing in the market. You have Argo CD and there are a lot of tools that are coming into the market. There might be a new tool that would add some value to your existing environment that would add efficiency to your automation or that will bring tools or better monitoring systems to your environment. So these are the things that you would have to research as a DevOps engineer and then give guidance to the client or a company that look, there's a new tool in the market that will help us to automate this better or why we have to use multi-cloud or why we have to use another monitoring system. And basically you will do a lot of POCs before you would implement. So these are the 10 activities that a DevOps engineer typically would perform and any activity that you would do will fall into one of these. But if I've missed anything, like I've said before, please let me know in the comment section. So that way it will be helping the community members here. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you have liked this video. Give it a like if you like, and then share it with your friends. For those who haven't subscribed to my channel, do click on subscribe button. Thank you all. Take care. Bye.